The next YouTube channel has been chosen. Vsauce, the internet gods have chosen you to be the next channel we analyze. And by internet gods, he means all of you and your comments, suggesting I analyze all the words spoken on the educational YouTube channel, Vsauce. It took us a while to get around to making this video. Well, yes. In this video, I downloaded the transcripts for all of the videos on the Vsauce channel in order to compare his speaking style to my own. Are we just like his channel? That's what I'm hoping to find out. This is the first educational YouTube channel I've analyzed, so it will be interesting to see how we compare. Today, we're going to look at most common and least common words, word complexity, common phrases, and of course, positivity and negativity using AI sentiment analysis. You know, the standard stuff. But for this video, I also want to do something I've never done before and analyze the sentiment of the comments that you all have left me in order to test a hypothesis I've had for some time now. What hypothesis? You'll have to watch and see. But enough talk, more data! It's data time! Data. In my Mr. Beast video, I asked who you all would like for me to analyze next, and I received a lot of comments requesting that I analyze Vsauce. And it only took half a year to make. Okay, that's enough, buddy. buddy, 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 buddy. Uh, that's enough. What was that? Yeah, we're having connectivity issues. I'll fix it later. What? Vsauce is one of the largest and oldest educational channels on YouTube. The channel started off in 2007, making mostly gaming and comedy content before transitioning to educational content, focusing on unique science, social, and technical topics. Originally, the channel had several hosts, but eventually settled on just one. Michael Stevens. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Hey Vsauce, Michael here. Since then, Michael has created hundreds of videos in his upbeat, energetic style. Hundreds? In total, I was able to download the transcripts from over 500 Vsauce videos. This constitutes over 50 hours of watch time with about half a million words spoken. Vsauce has a lexicon of about 18,000 unique words, the longest of which is 20 letters long. What word is that? Electroencephalogram, huh? The electroencephalogram, or EEG, came about in the 1920s. Oh, I think we're gonna have a more interesting speaker than Mr. Beast. I wanna know what his most common words are. This is something that people always ask for, and I'm hesitant to provide it since the most common words we all speak are just small words. I still wanna know, fine. Here are the most common words spoken on the Vsauce channel. The most common word spoken is the, followed by a, and, to, of, you, that, is, in, and finally, it. See, not that interesting. Okay, but what about common words on our channel? The most common words on my channel aren't that interesting either. My most common word is also the, followed by to, a, of, and, i, that, is, in, and it. So it's pretty much the same. No, it's not. There's one big difference. The top words all match, as do the bottom ones. But number six is different. For Vsauce, it's you. But for data time, it's I. You do say I a lot. No, I don't. I, I, see? Okay, fine. But I am not sure that makes a big difference. I and you are opposite words. Well, I guess it's an interesting distinction. Am I more self-centered than Vsauce? Is Vsauce more engaging with you, his audience, than I am? Comment below what you think. Anyways, let's take a look at common words that aren't so small. Let's look at proper nouns. Proper nouns? Words not in the dictionary. If we look at the most common words on the Vsauce channel that are not in my dictionary, we find several proper nouns and other contractions. If we compare these to my channel, we see that my words don't really match his, with a few exceptions. YouTube and you'll are commonly used by both of us. Eh, that's not that interesting. We can also look at common difficult words. Difficult words? Words that are not in my list of 30,000 words that have been marked as easy. If we look at the most common words that are in the dictionary, but not in my list of easy words, we see several common words. The most interesting one is probably universe. If we compare these to mine, we see my most common word here is data, which should be no surprise. I also use the words computer and computers a lot, along with other words that fit my brand. However, we can see that Vsauce and I overlap for actually and 
doesn't. Is that meaningful? I don't think so, but I don't really know what to think anymore. Thinking, 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 thinking. What is going on with our universe? It's fine, it's intermittent. So I don't think common words are that interesting. Okay, what about the least common words? Least common words are also difficult to analyze since there are so many of them. How many of them are there? Of the over 18,000 unique words in the Vsauce lexicon, nearly 7,000 are only ever spoken one time. That means that 37% of all unique words that Vsauce says are spoken once and only once. On my channel, I've spoken close to 5,000 unique words, of which 2,000 have only ever been spoken once. This means that 40% of the unique words I use, I only use once. So our two channels have a lot of single use words. That's right. Can we at least see some of these words? Why don't we take a look at the longest of these single use words? The longest word that Vsauce says once and only once is electroencephalogram, which we already mentioned, followed by disproportionately, telecommunication, neuropsychologist, neurodegenerative, electrophysiology, conscientiousness, pseudoscientific, miscommunication, and incomprehensible. Wow, those are some pretty big words. Yeah. But none of this really helps us understand how Michael speaks. Why don't we take a look at the complexity of his words? First, we can look at how many syllables he uses for his words. 76% of Vsauce's words are single syllable words. 16% are two syllable words, and it just goes down from there. If we compare this to the words spoken on my channel, we see that we are actually quite similar. Even when we plot these logarithmically, we see that we are essentially the same. We can also look at how many difficult words are spoken on the Vsauce channel. Of his lexicon of over 18,000 unique words, nearly 12,000 are not found in my dictionary of easy words, making them difficult words. That means 64% of the unique words spoken on Vsauce's channel are difficult words. For my channel, of the nearly 5,000 unique words spoken, only about 2,000 words are difficult, for a result of 55%. So Vsauce uses more difficult words than we do. That's right. I think I expected that. Next up, let's see some of the common phrases spoken on the Vsauce channel. If we look at his most common three word phrase, we get a lot of. There's gonna be a lot of purple there. And when direct sunlight has to travel through a lot of air, it asks a lot of questions about truth. The illustrations leave a lot of questions. If we look at his most common four word phrase, we get the speed of light. Speaking of the speed of light, at the speed of light, at the speed of light, to nearly the speed of light, twice the speed of light, to travel at the speed of light, and one of his most common six word phrases is, and as always, thanks for watching. 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 And finally, the last common six word phrase, which is probably his most recognizable phrase, is his typical intro. Hey, Vsauce, Michael here, and today, hey, Vsauce, Michael here, and today, hey, Vsauce, Michael here, and today, Michael seems to speak pretty quickly. How fast does he talk? We can analyze that too. Vsauce has had a pretty consistent speaking speed since he started his channel. Most recently, his speaking speed was about 177 words per minute, compared to my speaking speed of about 184 words per minute. Vsauce actually speaks a bit slower than I do. Wait, Vsauce speaks slower than we do? I was surprised by that too. Maybe he just enunciates more than I do so it feels faster? It certainly is a distinct possibility. Let's now take a look at the sentiment analysis of his channel. Ch 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 <laughs> okay, what is going on? It's connectivity issues. What does that even mean? Look, just be thankful you even have the internet. Everyone has the internet these days. No, they don't. Nearly three billion people have never logged on to the internet. Really? Oh yeah. Lack of internet access can be crippling to people because it prevents them from accessing employment, equal opportunities, and educational videos like this one. You're assuming people actually learn from us. That's why for this video, I'm partnering with a charity called GiveInternet.org. GiveInternet.org is a nonprofit organization that provides laptops and internet connections for underserved communities. Their local partners provide skills development programs like coding, design, healthcare, and entrepreneurship. The only things the students lack are a laptop and an internet connection. Once connected, most of these students either find a job, freelance, or start their own business. GiveInternet.org is not 
sponsoring this video, meaning they didn't pay me any money to endorse them. I just think online education is a great cause for all of us to support. Also, keep in mind that all of you are watching this video right now, an analysis of the words spoken of another educational YouTube channel. So this charity is exactly for you. Click on my link in the description in order to contribute today. Every donation made through the link will be doubled by one of their donors. And if you like this video, be thankful you have a device and an internet connection to watch it on. Also, if you like this video, like this video. Yes, and subscribe. Okay, are we gonna be all done with these connectivity issues? Yes. Now back to the sentiment analysis of the Vsauce channel. I took every transcript of every Vsauce video I could find and fed it into OpenAI and asked it to provide the sentiment analysis of each video with a positivity and negativity score between zero and 100. I then aggregated those scores in order to produce an average positivity score for each year, as well as an average negativity score for each year. As you can see, he started off more negative than positive, then quickly switched to become more positive. If I apply the same process to my videos, we see that I too am more positive than negative. Even more interesting is that compared to Michael, I am more negative and more positive than he is. How can someone be more positive and more negative? I guess he's just more neutral than I am. What was his most negative video? He has two that are both 95% negative. The first one is an old video that is a satirical parody and is intentionally and hyperbolically negative. We need a commercial for this new game, Medal of Honor. It's my grandson with a gun. Play with a gun in a sack. Play with Billy, cause he's fat. It's war out there, kids. Battery operated dildo guns shooting at invisible enemies. And now everyone I love is dead. That was fake and stupid. I think we can all agree that that commercial sucked and that we need hookers. What was the other one? It seems like an old public service announcement Michael did 20 years ago. I need to talk to you about an incident that occurred after school yesterday. It seems that two of your students, Tony and Jason, got into a fist fight after school in the parking lot. Jason's nose was broken. Tony had to go to the emergency room for stitches. Did you leave Jason's confidential special education folder on your desk last night? Jason's mother is very angry and says she's calling a lawyer and asked for information about filing a complaint. What was his most positive video? It was a short he made recently about some toy. I will show you the reindeer. Hello, time to go be a rain. Ah! Boom, it can be a high chair for playing with a little baby doll. I have a lot of fun with it. In fact, I have a lot of fun with it. A lot of these are just shorts. Yes, it's important to note that shorts tend to score higher for both positivity and negativity because there aren't as many words for the AI to analyze. So the smaller sample size of words can cause bigger spikes. And finally, the last thing I wanna look at is the sentiment of all of you, the viewers, the commenters. I wanna look at the sentiment analysis of the comments left on my videos, as well as Vsauce's videos. You said you had a hypothesis you wanted to test. Yes. Ever since my earthquake video sort of went viral a few years ago, I've noticed that viral videos tend to get a lot more negative comments. What do you mean? Well. When I first released my earthquake video, it was really only seen by my subscribers and they gave pretty positive comments. Then the algorithm picked it up and pushed it out to all kinds of new people on the platform and many of them hated it. They hated it? Well, they seem to misunderstand the premise. I made a video where I went to the San Andreas Fault and talked about earthquakes in California. I titled it Disaster in California and it got pushed out to a bunch of men over the age of 65, which is not my typical audience. Many of the commenters seem to think disaster in California was a political criticism on the state. What do they say? They left comments like, the actual disasters in Sacramento, or the faster California sinks into the ocean, the better off this country will be. And what exactly are you gonna test? I downloaded all of the comments on that video and sent them to the AI for analysis, and then plotted the average sentiment day by day to see if the negativity would increase over time. Did it? This video has over 500,000 views and over 900 comments. If we plot the polynomial trend of positivity and negativity, we can see on day one, the comments were very positive. However, as time progresses, the negativity jumps up quite quickly as the positivity decreases. Eventually, the lines sort of stabilize a bit, but the negativity is always slightly higher than the positivity. That could just be true for that one video. Sure. My next video that kind of went viral was my word analysis of the Mr. Beast channel, which is where many of you came from. Thank you. That video gained more attention than even my earthquake video did. Did it have the same trend? 
This video has over 700,000 views and over 2,000 comments. The comments on my Mr. Beast video also start off mostly positive and only a little bit negative on day one. As time progresses, we see a drop in positivity and an increase in negativity. Then around Halloween, it started getting a lot more positive again. I'm not sure why. Crucially, the negativity line has been increasing for most of the video's lifespan. What about our presidential video? My video analyzing the inaugural speeches of all US presidents was my first political video, and it is also my most popular video ever. This video has over 800,000 views and over 5,000 comments. Unlike my other videos, this one starts off negative from day one and then gets more negative from there. Only a few weeks before the election do the comments start getting a bit more positive. Apparently, people have strong opinions when it comes to politics. Some are positive, but most are really negative. It's also interesting to note that YouTube tells me that this video was also popular with Americans over the age of 65. But unlike my earthquake video, about 30% of them are female. That's not a lot. It's a lot more than my typical 16% female demographic. Okay, but what about Vsauce's comments? Did the same thing happen to him? Let's take a look at some of his most popular videos. 12 years ago, Vsauce created a video entitled, What If Everyone Jumped At Once? This video has about 40 million views and 58,000 comments. Surprisingly, the comments start off more negative than positive. Then they continue to get more negative and less positive. Nine years ago, Vsauce created a video entitled, The Bonnock Tarski Paradox. This video has about 45 million views and 100 thousand comments. This video also starts off more negative than positive and then kind of meanders up and down, but always stays more negative than positive. In 2023, Vsauce made a very popular short about Thermite. This video got over 200 million views and has over 75,000 comments. This video also starts off slightly more negative than positive and then mostly just stays that way forever. Why are these comments so negative? These videos aren't even controversial. Well, looking at some of the most negative comments, I think people were mostly just trolling him with negative jokes or making random insults out of context. So our comments start off positive and then get more negative, but Vsauce's comments start negative and don't really change? It would appear that way, and I'm not sure why. Comment below if you know why this might be. So what does that say about your hypothesis? So I think I can confirm that the comments on my videos do get progressively more negative over time. And I believe even more that this is because my loyal fan base comments first when my videos are initially published. Then new people discover my videos later on who may not like them and they comment negatively. Will that be true for this video? I don't know. Comment below how you feel about this video. And in the meantime, let's pick our next channel to analyze. <laughs>